Greetings all, another video on the 1998 Austral Denning double decker bus. It's 500 horsepower, turbocharged diesel and it's supercharged. And it's now registered as a motorhome, as a nine seat motorhome. So I'll take you for a quick look around the outside. Just body wise, there's a little bit of paint missing off the, off the front up here. It's relatively good in the body, but there's rust in a few little spots where they typically do that. So just above the, the door up there, you can see a little bit of rust. And if you get close enough, you can see a little bit under this, under this window under there, over around the wheel arch. Uh, a little bit more above the door over there. But all in all, it's not too bad. The double glazed windows. And so we'll go for a quick look around the outside. Obviously there's a, a side door and a front door up there. Tag axle and dual tag wheels. So good storage in here. Storage is about 700 mil tall in here. And it's about three meters long, which you can access from both sides, obviously. And through this funky little door at the back with the steps, that you go up into it in there. So, uh, but looking around the rest of the bus, not too bad. It could do with a little bit more of a clean. But, um, so as we come around the back, there's a little bit of a little bit of a love bite on here where they typically get a little bit of a knock backing into things, but it's not too bad. As we go around the back here, got the tow hitch there. I imagine that's four and a half ton. And we've got the radiator which swings out so you can access the engine. So if we just step back, give it a bit more of a look up there. Got the green and gold. If you come around here, we can see the engine through the side there. Detroit, 500 horsepower, plenty of power this bus. Plenty of power, bunch of batteries and isolator and all your electrics in there. Looking up around the top, if the sun doesn't blow it out, it's not too bad on this side. And got the 1000 litre fuel tank in there. So it's pretty good rust wise. There's a few little spots actually. Just as I mentioned, there's a spot there under the window. And a little bit of what I call um, sheet rust. I don't know if you can see that up there. It's just where the water gets in behind the sheet and the paint, between the sheet and the paint. Not too bad. Um, da da da. And then just a, a little bit around this wheel arch here. There's a bit down there and a bit at the front there. So, need a little bit of a tickle on the, um, with some minor body work. Put the bull bar on the front there, and the rest of it's pretty good. Mechanically, it's excellent. It's uh, had a rebuild, out of chassis rebuild for the engine 50,000 Ks ago, which I've got the receipts there for. So we'll go for a quick look inside. It's 1.82 meters inside down here. I've got the toilet there. And then it's I pulled some of the seats out. And it's registered as a nine seat motorhome. So these eight plus the driver. And then I've taken the parcel shelves out and just left the air conditioning tunnels in. The parcel shelves typically where you put your bags, just to give a bit, bit more head height or a bit more space in here. And then as we move forward, I've got the wheel arches there with the front wheels and then in the top of each of these, there's storage sort of things like that on both sides. Come up the front, there's a little jump seat here at the front door. And then the driver's area. Got a reverse camera. Um, it's got the retarder, engine brake, tag dump, a few different leveling valves and whatnot in there. Allison automatic down there, park brake. Um, things like fast idle, all that sort of gear, aircon. So, uh, no, it's pretty good. It's pretty clean inside, uh, CB, and you've got your stereo up there. Hopefully you can see this is a little bit sort of dark in here. And then, so looking from the front, looking backwards, plenty of space. I registered as a nine-seater, but you can obviously take some seats out if one feels the need for more space. Toilet, you probably don't need to see in there. And then as we go up the stairs, to the top level, it's empty. So I've removed all the seats, all the parcel shelves off the aircon tunnels. And there is tons of space up here. If I pan around, uh, hopefully you can see it, just in the middle of the day so the light not be, the sun's right above us. 
So if I sit back here, there is tons of area up here. It's the full length of the bus. It's about 1.8 meters in here, up head height up here. So uh, plenty of viewing area. I believe one of these windows, I think it's this one. See how it's a bit misty? Because they're double glazed, that one's probably got some moisture inside of it. So that might need a bit of attention over time. But um, got the roof hatches up here. And then as we pan around, there's a, uh, like a mischief camera up here, keep an eye on the kids. And then we turn around, plenty of room. And there's another roof hatch like that down the back there. So there we are. That's the Austral Denning double-decker.